right, guys, let's get to packing. So first thing we have is this white lace tank top with a solid white tank to go underneath it. And I actually have the same set in black because I love these things. Um, for warning, I overpack. I overpack everywhere I go. I just like to. I like to have options. And uh, yeah, you're, you're about to see that. So here is a swimsuit cover up. Here is another swimsuit cover-up. I'm going to be spending most of my time there, let's be real, so might as well have fun with it. And uh, this is going to be another swimsuit cover-up, but that can also be used as a shirt, so that's perfect. And this is another dual option, cover-up or shirt. And now I have <laughs> tons of shorts. So one pair of jean shorts and another. So fun fact, gray shorts. Last time I packed for vacation and did a what's in my suitcase. These are capris. I only packed one pair of shorts completely accidentally. I didn't even notice. So that was fun. Another pair of jean shorts. And it was only after I got back from vacation that I read in the comments, somebody was like, um, great packing, but you only packed one pair of shorts. I was like, I wish I read this before. All right, we got the casual tank top and another pair of black shorts. One nightgown. A second nightgown. Well, nightshirt. And then this is like a floral kimono that a friend had given me. This is the white linen shirt that you have watched me thrift if you have been following me. This is actually a super cute top and sarong set that was sent to me by Mel at Everything Marmy. So Mel, that's coming to the Caribbean. And then we have our first bathing suit our second bathing suit we'll get to the shoes in just a sec this is a cute little two-piece suit top and shorts that i got from shein and then that's my little dress that i thrifted also all right so now we have these little crocheted ballet flats I have my little kind of semi-gladiator sandals. And then I have my uh, silver espadrille wedges to make it cute and fancy. I have my croc ballerina flats. I always wear sneakers and socks on the plane so that I have those. Then I have my black Dollar Tree slides. And I always bring extra shower caps with me to cover shoes on the way back. And then I'm bringing a bikini in case I feel completely crazy and out of my mind. You never know. It, I probably won't wear it, but whatever. I'm bringing it for fun. Then I have my water shoes. I don't like the icky feeling on the bottom of the ocean, so. <laughs> oh, and then I have these little black sandals. I like shoes and I like switching them. And then this is a long um, maxi dress, maxi summer dress, very, very long. And then I'm bringing this little black short dress with eyelets on the bottom. This is a romper. Cute little semi-fancy romper for dinners. And this is the crossbody I decided to bring. This is from Belle Lily. If you watched that little haul, that was in my Dollar Tree haul. And then these are my Shein items that you guys saw. So this is my off the shoulder bodysuit. So I have the two bodysuits. This is the solid black bodysuit. The black goes with the leopard paper bag shorts and the striped off the shoulder goes with the black paper bag shorts so i have those two outfits
bringing a full pack of panty drawers and several brassieres. Now for the little toiletries, I'm gonna put them all in this iridescent Dollar Tree bag. So we have the Degree Spray Black and White. This little moisturizer lotion. This facial wash. An extra bottle of conditioner because they go through tons. This little Neutrogena face lotion with 50 SPF. Travel razor. And my little implement tube, nail clipper, tweezer, file, and my shampoo bar from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna throw that in there as well. All right, I'm just gonna place this on the side for a second. Then I have this Tresemme Touch Up Hairspray Pen. If you saw me haul that in the privately owned dollar store video. So I'll be bringing that for hairspray. Coolest thing ever. It's aerosol. Then I have two bamboo straws from Shop Miss A in there for us. All right, so I'm going to bring this, but that toothpaste I can't use. So that's for my husband. And then I'm just going to stick this one in there for me too. And then my little travel brush and mirror in there. Here is my travel set of makeup brushes. Some haven't even been used yet. <laughs> then I'm bringing this little, little trees in a can for the bathroom because you gotta be courteous. All right, next we're gonna go through this and in this Ziploc bag, we'll go in there. So we have a stain stick, hydrocortisone cream, bacitracin ointment, some band-aids, and then a little iodine swab in there just in case. So we're gonna put that in our other medicinal stuff in here. So I have uh, my mosquito repelling wipes. I have some Advil congestion, eye drops, allergy medicine. Then I'm bringing these Sunkissed 1000 milligram vitamin C sticks. This is electrolytes because sometimes the sun bothers me. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, and I have this uh, salt nasal inhaler. I still have to do my medications, but that's a separate situation. Next, this is my pool and beach bag. I have these cooling towels that a friend had also sent me. And then we have actually two of these SPF 50 sprays. So there's a second one down in there. And uh, SPF Chapstick by Banana Boat. My sunglass strap, and that's about it. Some fun sunglasses. I'm gonna pack those in the clothes so they can get there safely, hopefully. They're super blinged out and dramatic, but perfect for vacation. Then I like to bring a power bank just in case, because you never know. So I'll slip that in there too. That's for the phone in case you don't know. Then this is a really fun hair clip. You just slip it onto your hair right there. Again, for drama and fun. If not on vacation, then when, right? This bag is all full of fun vacation jewelry. Tons of fun earrings to go with every outfit. And this is the makeup. So we just have some lip stuff, setting spray, little bottles of perfume oils in there, mascara, my little beauty blender. Just a little, because it's hot. 
Then I actually put some black protein hair gel in there, so I'll be packing that as well. And then I'm going to bring this two pack of nose masks. Hopefully my husband will do one with me. If you saw the last ER trip, um, the mask situation was hilarious, but I think he'll do this. And then I'm going to bring this bag that my friend Patty got me. I'm going to use that as my pool and beach bag to put my stuff in to bring down. Then I'm going to bring a little travel bag for the supermarket and stuff. Chargers. Um headphones those are all going to go in the carry-on i always put a phone charger in the carry-on because i have been stuck at airports for 18 hours and uh, i don't play around anymore so all that's going to go in the carry-on we're going to do that after the suitcase so stay tuned then this fun neon scarf i've strapped everything in and i think we're ready guys for the most part I'll put the medication in the carry-on. Now for the scary part of weighing. Remember the max is 50 or else you pay overweight fees. So I have my trusty Samsonite luggage scale here. Now it's going to stay where I put it so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and give this a try. This is always the worst, worst part. I always start off thinking I'm doing well and then I get scared towards the end because I realize I'm not doing that well. So what do we got? Oh boy. All right, what does it say? See where that's at? What is that, 48 pounds? <laughs> 49? 49, that looks like a good 49 to me. Let's do it a second time for good measure. See what we get. Maybe it'll be better this time. I'm resetting it. Let's pull it up one more time. Yep, that's 49. <laughs> I too like to live dangerously. So I always give my husband some stuff to put in his because he packs lighter. And again, I always stick my bounce sheets in the bag before we leave. And I bring the scale with me because we have to recheck all suitcases because I get presents. So let me show you a couple things I'm making my husband take. We're going to take these little ice cubes to freeze. There is a, a fridge in the room. We're bringing this little insulated bag. Just bringing some extra cutlery and stuff for the room. Why not? That can never hurt. And uh, we get ice from the ice machine too and put it in there. But I thought these would be good to add just to bring some drinks or something down. And then this is the portable hand truck I told you about for the supermarket and stuff. Um, this weighs three and a half pounds, holds 88 pounds, and I'm going to put that in my husband's luggage. And some other things he's going to take for us, he's going to take these, those packs of hand sanitizer. He's going to take the extra wipes. Here are our disinfectant sprays. I do have wipes and sanitizer in the carry-on, of course. So I'm bringing these three disinfectant sprays. There's another pack of wipes. And then I told you, I always do this. I get this big bed bug spray, and then we're going to fill up these little bottles with it, pack it well, and split them amongst us. So that's it. Now let's do carry on. All right, moving over to my carry-on backpack, I put a reminder to bring our vaccination cards with us. I have mine in the holder Gina made me. I'm waiting on my husband's and our passports. I got some money, but I have to like put my little wallet in there and, you know, organize everything. And then in here, usually I try to put heavy stuff, but okay. So first I got one pack of masks for me, one pack of masks for my husband. I have this uh, mask lanyard, which I'll probably be, you know, using for the trip. And I have that headband with the buttons to save my ears from the mask. Now, you guys saw this in my suitcase just now, my toiletries, but I decided to put it in there. Everything is flight size, so it's fine. Brought a little movie night trivia card game to play with my husband on the plane and all my books, small and large, in here because I would never put that weight in a suitcase. So here's some of my pool and beach reading, scary stories to tell in the dark, a word search, a little crossword puzzle,
choose your own ending love story. So you make decisions while you're reading. So fun. And then another little scary one and a serial killer book because that's uh, my happy place. And here we have some snacks, not too many. And then we got some wipes, some tissues, sanitizers. There's my headphones and charger. And uh, my husband and mine's medication bag, we're just gonna slip that into our carry-ons last minute. And here is my husband's luggage. So that's some of the stuff I showed you that I needed to put in there. And here is the hand truck. It had its own carrying case, apparently. I gave him the ponchos to hold, an extra shopping bag, and everything I showed you is tucked in here. Now we just need to weigh everything. All right, so I'm going to give my husband's luggage away to see where we're at on that. Looks pretty good. That's at about 46 and a half or 45, depending on the angle, but somewhere in that range. Try it one more time for good measure. And now it's right under 45. So we're safe on that. Leave us room for gifts. So we're ready to make our descent down to the Dominican Republic, guys. I'm probably already there while you're watching this time-wise, but I will film while I'm there and I'll be with you when I get back. So until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.